you can open ChatGPT with the Option Plus spacebar. When you click the Work with Apps button, you'll see a list of available apps that ChatGPT can connect with. To enable this, you'll need to grant permissions either in your system settings or directly within the app, depending on which app you want to enable. Once it's set up, ChatGPT still won't have access to any app until you explicitly select it. Once it's connected, it can pull context from within the app, not just what's visible on the screen. For example, as a developer, I might share the code on my IDE. Let's take a look at how this might work as a developer. I'm working on a checkout page for my new bookstore. However, when I put in my payment information, I hit an error. The error shows that I have an issue with my integration with my payment provider, and it looks like I'm missing a parameter. I'll open up ChatGPT via the Option Plus Spacebar shortcut and ask it for help fixing the error. I also know that this error is specifically coming from my checkout page, so I'll click the Work With Apps button, which shares the entire code from my forefront file in my IDE with ChatGPT. In addition, I'll swap out my model to use O3 Mini High. It's a little bit slower, but works really well with coding use cases. You can see ChatGPT go to work, starting off with a chain of thought. You have full visibility into the steps the model is taking to come up with a solution, and here you can see the progress and even have ChatGPT automatically edit your file within your IDE if you'd like. For this example, let's review the file together first. It looks like I use camel case instead of snake case, which the payment provider requires. So let's go ahead and push the changes. And just like that, you can see the changes reflected in my IDE with the return URL being updated to snake case. Let's save the code and give that another try. Great, problem solved. So previously I would have had to copy and paste my error, perhaps look up the API docs, but now I can share my code directly with ChatGPT and ask it to update it as well.